Yes, God has a son. Seven scriptural proofs. In the 10th century BCE, the book of Psalms foresaw a time when Yahweh would install a king over all nations, calling him my son. I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. In the 8th century BCE, the prophet Isaiah foresaw a time when Yahweh would install an everlasting son over the nation of Israel. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, and of peace, there will be no end on the throne of David, and over his kingdom, for evermore. Their zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. About the year 6 BCE, an angel from heaven announced that the Son of God would soon be born to a young virgin. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. Of his kingdom there will be no end. About the year 29 CE, the prophet John reported hearing the voice of God proclaim Jesus to be his son. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens being torn open, and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. In the year 33 CE, Three eyewitnesses reported hearing the voice of God proclaim Jesus to be his son. Jesus stuck with him Peter and James, and John his brother, and led them up a high mountain. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah. Behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The week Jesus was crucified and risen, his disciples heard him call himself the Son, God sent one. Jesus prayed, Father, the hour has come, glorify your Son, that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Thus the New Testament of the Holy Bible affirms unequivocally that Jesus is the Son of God. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written, so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name.